AP Physics, page 53, homework, problem number 62. Once again, this is basically a component problem with constant velocities in two different perpendicular directions. So I drew the river here. So there could be some misinterpretation of this problem, but basically I think the intent of the problem is the helmsman or the driver of the ferry, pilot, whatever, is aiming straight across, but if they aim straight across due north, the river carries them down down river at the rate of the flow of the current, 5.0 kilometers per hour. But if you just look at these two components going straight across, if you take V1 as the velocity straight across, the speed of the boat with relative to the water, it's 10 kilometers per hour. For two hours it takes them to get across the river, it's 20 kilometers straight across the river. In the meantime, the current's carrying them down river, I'm calling that V sub 2, at 5 meters per second for the two hours. They end up landing, docking 10 kilometers down river. So they'd end up over here somewhere uh, if they aim straight across. Now, if the problem could have been made a lot harder if it said, okay, well, and uh, but here's well, this is extra as well. This also goes along with part the parts A and B that I already that I already did. The actual speed of the boat would have been 11.2 kilometers per hour if they would have asked you that, or the velocity. Well, the velocity would be at that particular angle. You could figure out what that angle is, but that would be the speed, 11.2 kilometers per hour. If it said, okay, now we have to compensate because they want to go straight across the river, the helmsman would have had to aim up the river, that's the speed of the boat, such that this 5 kilometers per hour would have brought them to a, a triangular configuration like this where the right angle would be right here. So the actual progress across the river would have been straight across the river. In that case, you would have 5 squared plus v squared equals 10 squared, then the progress across the river would have been 8.7 meters per second. You could figure out how long it would have taken them if the distance across the river was 20 kilometers. But you didn't need to do that. That's all extra information. This is the actual solution to the problem right there.